Good morning, everybody. I have a super short walk today, well, at least comparatively to yesterday. I'm only going at 12 kilometers, and I think it's just a gentle uphill climb. So pretty psyched for that because yesterday was long, but I am up for the journey. It seems that no matter how hard or easy it is each day, there's something about the flow and being here that makes it still, I don't know, the hard isn't bad. It's, there's just something about this experience that makes it beautiful at the same time, even if my toes are swollen and I have blisters. So I'm really looking forward to another day on the Camino. Let's get going. Only the first person I've seen today, besides a couple bikers that flew past. Uh, first walker. It's been maybe an hour, I think. Yeah. It's a very quiet day on the Camino today. I love these sweet little water fountains that you see along the way. I don't need water right now. I don't want to carry more than I need. But all of a sudden, because there was a water fountain, now I see pilgrims up ahead. It's weird. It's like they come out of nowhere. No idea where these people were the entire time. But now there's about 15 in front of me. Camino is so odd in that way. I must be making good time this morning because I think I see Claire and Val up ahead. Which is perfect because we're just getting into town so we can have breakfast together. I saw you both. I said, I'm thinking Crystal should have caught up with us by now, but oh well. <laughs> and then we came around the corner and, and there you are. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Did you get a good supply of goods? I got a couple uh, apples and bananas, but I definitely need to pick up some. I'm hoping there's food here or t tea Something. and like yeah. so tortilla patata, I think is all I'm going to get today. Right. But that's okay. okay. I'm going to be yeah. grateful for whatever I get. That's right. It's food. It's yeah. nourishment. Yep. For our body and our soul. So this is the first time I think we've all stopped, but there's actually no breakfast or coffee place. I'm going to do a little quick toe check. Yeah, I think I bruised my toe yesterday. Oh, no. This one's definitely... It's... Yeah, I bruised it for sure. Is that a blister under there? No, it's just, uh, I, I put it to soften it because it, it did feel a little uh -huh. red, so I just put it on. I thought, oh, maybe it might be getting a little, uh -huh. like a hot spot. Those things are helping keep the toes separated though. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta keep moving. Because I noticed if I stop, you would think it would help. But my left foot, I have, this ongoing blister slash, I don't know, like one of my toes is going over my pinky toe. I don't know what that toe is called, but it was pressing on it. So I put this toe separator in and it was too big yesterday. And I was just going for it, didn't stop. And my feet were almost like, at that point it's like, everything's hurting. And so you don't even, can't, I couldn't even really tell what was going on, but it bruised. And so if I stop for too long and start, it really hurts. But if I just keep going, it seems to be okay. 
Like right now, it's just, it's just kind of a bothersome. Like if this was normal everyday life, it would be like, ugh, this is a bummer. Probably just stay off my feet for a week. But for this, I guess there's an expectation of some physical pain. So I'm just gonna keep walking, catch up with the ladies later. I'm sure we'll find each other again. I think there is some food to be had up ahead. I'm very excited about this. <sighs> yes! I <laughs> Oh, nice. Gracias. Ah. <laughs> Gracias. That was a giant helping of a paella and I ate pretty much the whole thing. But it was really nice to have a vegan meal like that. I have my tea to go. So I guess I can't really use my walking poles then. That's okay. I'm just gonna find my way back to this trail. I think Val and Claire are left a little bit before me. Sure, I'll see them again. I'm just gonna take my time though, enjoy my tea. Mm. It's pretty, pretty incredible. She's just, all I have to do is walk. That's all I really have to do. I just have to walk and it sounds so simple that there's so much that comes up on this way. Just thinking about the kind of person I wanna be in life and um, my different relationships and how I, what I want my legacy to be in this life and some big questions and some all or small, also some smaller stuff. But the mantra that I've been walking with today and actually yesterday, it's just continuing to carry through, is do hard things. And I remember hearing that, I think it was from a personal trainer, some of you might know who it is, I'm not sure if you do, leave a comment below. And I think that really relates well for me when it comes to mental and physical things. I don't think work needs to be hard or relationships need to be hard. But I love that in terms of physical because so much of physical fitness or physical triumphs are really mental. A mental challenge to overcome the blocks that you have within yourself. And I'm really liking the challenge in a way. It makes this pain as I'm limping. I don't know if the word is fun, but it makes it exciting. It makes it feel good, like really um, gratifying. That's the word. I think of yeah. I feel really it feels really gratifying just to be in pain and be doing this anyways, and not to give up because if this is easy. Things like this to overcome parts of yourself were easy it wouldn't be worth it. It really wouldn't. And so I love not giving up unless of course I need to maybe shift today or something like that because it's actually going to be harmful for per permanent injury or something like that. But this is more of a challenge of saying, yeah, whew, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm limping, definitely pain happening but there's no need to complain about it, be noticing of it, but instead just go do the hard thing, do the thing that I said I was gonna do, keep moving forward, having that goal in mind of the next stop. And I'm just really, really proud of myself right now and really encouraged by that mantra. So do hard things. I think that's my lesson for today. The trail comes out right onto this freeway with giant trucks. So, 
gonna try to run. They're going really fast. Uh, I can already hear one coming. Uh. That was weird. The path restarted. Very tiny. Right next to the freeway. But at least it's this. <laughs> ah. Yes. another blister and for the past two days I stopped wearing my toe socks and the only reason I stopped wearing them is because this toe is going over my pinky toe and I kept squishing it so I was using this this little thing I don't know if you can see that to go over in between my toes and I couldn't wear the toe socks with it because that was really bothering me but I think I'm gonna stop using that and go back to my toe socks because that was really helping the rest of my toes, but bummer, but it happens. So just more copied. I think all my toes are gonna be covered and copied by the, give it five days and I just have a feeling. Anyways, I'm gonna, I hear some more people, but I'm gonna jump in the shower because I think people are just arriving. I want to get in there while there's still some hopefully hot water and wash up before there's a big line. Looking over my my plan for tomorrow, my hike looks like it's about 18.1 kilometers. So that's the general amount I've been doing, give or take, every day. But my toe, two toes are hurting pretty bad, and I have a uphill climb right in the morning which is good that it's in the morning because I feel like the morning usually I'm pretty, it's easy to go after my uh, my toes get some time to rest. But it looks like there's one, two, three, two cities in between in case I need to stop and call a taxi if something were to happen. However, first city or village isn't till 11.9 kilometers in. So I just have to be very sure in the morning that I can do that. This is generally what I do every afternoon, have a glass of wine and scope everything out for the next day. Instead 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 of waiting till 7 p.m. to eat, I'm just gonna eat. Now it's already six and seven o'clock as an American is really late for me personally to eat. I'm used to being completely done with my eating at seven, so I at least have a few hours to digest. And eating at 
these European times at like 12 to 2 for lunch, that's fine, but not being able to eat at like 5 when I really want to has taken a toll on my digestion. Definitely been a little bit more constipated. So the the ladies texted me, all my friends, and they're going out at 7, but I think I'm just going to stay in. I know it doesn't look that exciting, but I'm eating some tomatoes, cucumber, and some fruit. It just seems like the, the, the healthiest choice, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to hike tomorrow, and I don't really want to walk my little butt up to the restaurant. I'm just I'll try not to walk as much as possible, and that's one thing. I don't think I ever heard anybody say is that after you're done walking for the day, you also have to walk to get food, and if you want to go sightsee, then there's more walking. So you're just always walking. And if you're having blisters and all these other things, it's not just stopping for the day at whatever time, usually between 11 to 3 p.m., you just keep walking and walking and walking. And so I, I just really want to be gentle on my feet and oh, I trust that I'll be able to hike tomorrow or walk tomorrow. So anyways, I'm just gonna eat some cucumbers and watch some Stranger Things. Which sounds like awesome, actually. Mm. Oh my god. Cucumber tastes so good. I haven't had one cucumber since I've been here. Mm.